<sighs> hey all, the practitioner here. Listen, um, this is more advice I need from people. Um, I mean, I know that probably the, I mean, I've already gotten advice as to how, as to what the guy was probably thinking when I dealt with this. But I really need to know how to handle this uh, the next time I'm actually confronted by someone um, who's drunk. Um, let me relate the situation for you. Um, I was talking to a friend of my girlfriend's who, you know, mutual coworker and all that. Uh, it was her birthday tonight, and we were going out, and I asked her at the end of the party, so how did you enjoy the party? Did you enjoy your birthday? You know, just, just out of curiosity, because I just want to, you know, I just want to know that everything was cool, you know. Um, we'd gone out to bars. Anyway, so this guy, um, who apparently she knows promptly yelled, shut up, and I just went, okay. You know, like, I honestly had no idea what was going on. A little while later, um, we're all stopped at a bus stop, because we're going to wait for a cab, uh, it's past the time of the, um, buses going by. And um, Ben said, uh, "Sorry, um, that's another friend." Said, "Hey, did you see the? Uh, did you know that there's a new star, uh, a new Doctor Who episode coming out?" And I said, "Yeah, um, Rose Tyler's going to be returning in this." And uh, you know, I said, "I'm looking forward to the fanfic. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the episode turns out because I want to see if it matches up with a fanfic I did, um, which I wrote over in fanfiction.net." Anyway, um, um, it goes into great detail. Long story short, um, you know, we uh, we end up talking a whole bunch of technicals. And, um, and the guy, uh, the same guy who told me to shut up is going, yeah, yeah, you know, but I'm not even talking to him. I'm like, I'm talking to this Ben, I'm talking to Ben. And anyway, um, and so, you know, there's a whole, uh, you know, we're talking plot conflicts and all this. And, um, and the guy says, uh, and the guy who told me to shut up says, hey, do you watch Star Trek? And I said, sure, what series? You know, just genuinely curious, um, as to what his, uh, as, uh, you know, I was, I was just genuinely curious as to which series because, you know, there's a, a, a some series are better than others. For example, Enterprise was complete crap, and practically every Trekkie knows that. Anyway, um, uh, you know, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, point being is that, you know, that's my mentality, but I, so I ask him, really, what series? And I'm, um, at the time, uh, my physical gestures is that I'm uh, leaning against a bench on one hand, uh, against the back of a bench. And um, and he says, do I look, and he, um, his, his exact words are, do I look like the type who would, uh, do I look like the type of person who watches Star Trek, nigger? Um, I was just asking if you do watch Star Trek. Like, what series? Jesus. Uh, um, something like that. You know, he was like, what series? You know, or something like that was then was what he said. And I said, um, well, I was just curious because, you know. And then he says, hey, I told you to shut up. Didn't you hear me the first time? And he literally gets, then he gets into my space. Um, he, uh, he gets within about six inches of me. So I don't speak and I just shrug my shoulders. And he, then he says, I'll fuck you up. And, um... Uh, and then promptly, uh, his friend, um, uh, the, the birthday girl, um, actually comes up and says no, you know, and actually starts pushing him away. And she and he, and she goes and he goes, whoa, easy gangster to her and all that, um, you know. And I mean, like it, it didn't really frighten me. I'm just not sure how to handle that. So my question is, um, this is for all YouTube viewers, uh, my subscribers and the like, um, any neurotypical who's out there. Uh, as an Aspie, I'm asking, how do you handle drunk people? More specifically, how do you handle um, people who? Uh, to give you an image of what he was acting like, um, he was apparently acting like the uh, guy on the street. Um, he was acting like a, te a stereotypical gangster from Boys in the Hood. So, um, if that helps any, um, how do you handle somebody like that when they come up into your space? How? Uh, what is the appropriate response to dealing with somebody like that? Because, um, you know, I mean, I genuinely... Um, I'm not afraid of this or what have you. I'm just curious as to how to handle this because I've never actually faced a situation like this before and I genuinely did not know how to respond. So um, if you guys could, yeah, any advice you could give me would be really helpful. Thanks. Toodles.